today we're doing pork belly burnt ends. This is a 10 pound pork belly. We're gonna dice this thing up, we're gonna put a rub on it, throw it in a smoker, and when it's almost done, we're gonna put an awesome glaze. We're gonna just get the whole thing all mushy and glazed, and then we're gonna finish it in the smoker in a foil pan. It's gonna be juicy, sticky, and smoky and crunchy all at the same time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The Mr. Big Kid channel is all about firearms and barbecue. It's what I do and it's what I love. So if you guys like firearms and barbecue, you might wanna subscribe. This is True Meat Candy and we're gonna make it now. We're gonna dice this guy up into one inch squares and we're gonna put it all inside the foil pan. Then we're gonna put our rub inside the foil pan as well. We're gonna get it all mixed up in there. Then we're gonna spread them out on the grill. So let's get started. So for the rub we're gonna use, we're gonna use this Heath Riles barbecue. It's a pecan rub. So I just tasted it, I just bought it um, over at Ace Hardware, and it's good. It's got a good salt content, a little spicy. So we're just gonna put this on the, the diced up pork belly now. We're gonna splash around some of this extra virgin olive oil as well as a binder. Sorry for the lighting, I just can't, just where the sun is and the grill. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna reposition ourselves, stand by. All right, that's better. We're gonna take the pork belly right here and we're gonna spread it out in the grill, try to leave some space in between each other one so the smoke gets to all sides of that pork belly. Just got the pork belly on the grill. It's 9.45 right now. We're gonna come back and check on them in about 45 minutes. So real quick information before we let this thing keep going, I wanna tell you that we are using standard Kingsford charcoal briquettes and we're using hickory wood chunks and we have the grill or the master belt smoker right now set to 300 degrees. So let's see how long it takes to get smoked. They're gonna shrink a lot on the grill as they cook. That fat's gonna melt and they're gonna kinda uh, pull together a little bit. So curious to see how these look. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Let's let them go. It has been 45 minutes. Let's check it out. Look at those guys. See how they shrunk so much. There's more space gaps. You can see some darkness and oh man, I should probably get a thermometer and just see where we're at. Cause these guys are almost ready to cook in sauce and it's only been 45 minutes. That's how fast these things cook, but that's because you dice them up. We're gonna make a glaze for the pork belly. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna use some regular old pancake type syrup. And then we're gonna add some screwball, which is like a peanut butter whiskey. It's really good, it's delicious, but we're gonna add that for good peanut butter whiskey flavor. And then we're gonna use a little bit of molasses to start going for the, the barbecue type flavor. We're gonna add some balsamic vinegar for some tanginess. 
and some cinnamon for flavor because cinnamon and pork products go really well together. And last but not least, we are going to use ketchup. We're gonna get it all to a boil and then we're gonna turn it off, let it start cooling down because we don't wanna just put the meat inside boiling liquid. Okay, so we are getting close now. These pork bellies are really good. So far they are cooked, they're about 190 or so. We're gonna throw them into this, the sauce and glaze that we made. So what I did here is I kinda chilled the sauce and I put a little coat of sauce in the pan just to kinda get things to the bottom. Now what I wanna do is take the pork bellies that are on the grill and just put them all inside this pan. Now we're gonna take the sauce, which has cooled down quite a bit, but still pretty hot, but it's all right. We're gonna take that and we're just gonna drizzle it over the top of the pork belly. Now I'm just gonna cover this thing up in foil and we're gonna let it go for like another 10, 15 minutes, open it up, then another five minutes and we're done. It's been about 10, 15 minutes in the foil. So let's go ahead and open the foil and let it just finish in the open air to kind of harden up. Goodness, it just looks so good. I'm glad I made enough sauce too. They can all get a nice covering in there. All right, we're gonna let them finish for like another five minutes or so, unwrapped. Then we're gonna try them. I'm pretty sure these fools are done, so let's check them out. Oh my gosh, look at that. The pork belly burnt ends are all done, and here's what we got. Look at this guy. Look how sticky that is. It's all syrupy and squishy and amazing. All right, well, here goes nothing. Wow, holy crap, hmm. Most of the time when people try burn ends, they're blown away with how uh, crispy and smoky they are, but they, it's almost like a crunchy shell, but the inside's all mush and it's fully cooked. These things are cooked to over 200 degrees internal temp, but it's like crispy on the outside and sticky on the outside but then it's absolute mush when you're in the inside. It like explodes. It's, gosh, it's an incredible flavor, incredible texture. This one almost tastes like French toast just with the, the barbecue rub we put on first. And then, you know, the very sweet glaze we put on after with all the syrups and molasses and all that stuff. It's incredible. Very tender, crunchy, juicy. Oh man, these came out really good, extremely good. I'd probably do this recipe again. I was thinking of adding some truffle flavor to it, but I didn't know if that would really work with the sweetness, but I might try a little bit to experiment. That's it guys. This was another, another success. Uh, Master Built did a great job smoking this food. So I, I'm very happy with it. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Mr. Big Kid Channel is all about firearms and barbecue. So please don't forget to subscribe if you like that content too. I'd very much appreciate it. And thank you all again so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.